good morning or afternoon, evening, whatever you're watching this. It's morning for me. <laughs> I am going to get my hair done today. I'll show you guys an inspo picture of what I want to get done. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. Normally, it takes a day, <laughs> like a full on day for my hair to get done. So I have nothing else planned for today besides my hair. I have my coffee on the go. I have a protein bar as my breakfast. <laughs> um, I had a late start. My appointment's at like nine and it's 8.34. So I gotta like book it. Why am I yawning? <laughs> Hi everybody, it is the next day, it is Sunday. My voice sounds so low, <laughs> wow. Anyways, it is Sunday, it's the next day. This is my hair, which I love. My girl Antonia always does such an amazing job. I'll also put a, um, like a before and after so you guys can see it. Literally, so amazing. I freaking love it. So I wanted to chat on something. I post, oh my God, my voice right now? What? Apologies for my voice. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yesterday I posted, well, I posted my hair, of course. Um, and I mentioned that, you know, it's been a month since I like posted anything on Instagram. Like not, not including stories, just like on my feed. I haven't posted anything since like the 31st, I think of January. It's been like a month and the reason why is because my skin has just been absolutely awful i don't know if i want to like put photos on here or not but um i've been dealing with this for a year so back in march of course when covid started everything just went downhill right um my skin just like i still don't know what it is so well, I think I know what it is. I went to my eye doctor and I was told that it was contact dermatitis. So we treated it as such. It worked, but then it came back. So then I saw another dermatologist and they told me that it was seasonal or it could be stress. The stress one, I think it might be because it started when when the lockdown started in March. I don't think so now. It felt fine like during the holidays and everything, like it was okay. Then at the beginning of February, it got really, really bad. And when I say really, really bad, like, you know what, I'll put the photos, but it just makes me self-conscious. Um, my eyes were so swollen when I woke up. Um, they were red, like beet red. My face, like at one point, my face was entirely red. I know this is gonna sound bad, but instead of going to a doctor again, cause I've gone to my eye doctor and I've gone to two different dermatologists and they have all said something different. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do some research, see if I could do some like, you know, self care at home and see if that works before I actually physically go into a doctor's office. Cause I haven't been in a doctor's office besides like going to the gynecologist. So I've done everything virtually. So I'm thinking that I do the self care at home, see if that works. And if it doesn't, then I'll make an appointment, an in-person appointment and go into the office and be like, figure this out or else I'm gonna lose my shit. So I'm already almost losing my shit because it's been a year of this shit. What's going on is my eyes are so dry that they start to flake and my skin, it, it's red. It reminds me a lot of a sunburn where it's red and then you start to peel. Um, that's literally what it looks like. But of course it's not sunburn because I haven't been outside tanning. It's freaking winter. I did some research and it looks like the symptoms that I have are related to Bellarius? Be Bellarius? Bellarius? You know what? Instead of me trying to pronounce it, I'm just gonna put it here. <laughs> what it is. So I have every single symptom of this. Like I was going down the list and I'm like, check, 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 check. And I was like, okay, this has to be it. 
And what it is, is basically a bacterial infection. So that makes sense why it keeps coming back. I don't wear my makeup. I don't wear my contacts. It gets better. And then I start to wear my makeup and my contacts again, and it gets worse. What was happening was whatever infection I had going on with my eyes, it might have gotten better, right? It might have gotten better, but the bacteria was in my makeup. And I kept using my makeup after it was fine. It's just, it's just great. It was like a never ending cycle. I had to do a very sad thing. We just clear out all of my makeup. And I mean all of my makeup. I just, I gotta like have a clean slate. It still, it still irks me. So I was able to keep a couple of palettes. So I was able to keep my Shane Light palette, right? Of course, I just bought this. This is the pretty basic uh, Tarte palette. Um, I was able to keep this because I, I haven't used it yet. Um, I don't think I've used this yet. I just got this blush palette. I haven't used it. So I have that as well. I have to get rid of this puff that I just got. Annoying. I have to get rid of, I think those are the only two things left that I have to get rid of that I'm like, I don't want to get rid of you. <laughs> because I have to get rid of my Laura Mercier powder. And if you guys are into makeup, you know how much that is. But anyways, this has been a long uh, explanation for a couple of the things that I recently just got, which I'm gonna preface this by saying, I'm not gonna be doing my makeup until this is fully gone. And I'm not wearing contact, I mean, I wore contacts yesterday, but my eyes were actually okay. Um, but I'm gonna be wearing glasses for most, if not all of the time, moving forward until everything is gone. I got some new stuff from Ulta because I had to get rid of a lot of things. So when I'm able to do my makeup again, I'll be able to use this stuff. I got a new beauty blender and this is a microfiber sponge from Morphe. I'm really excited to use this. I haven't used a microfiber sponge. I got the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Is is this the mascara that's, you know, going crazy on TikTok? I don't know. Maybe, possibly, who knows. Then there's some things in here that aren't a part of this uh, whole product, but this is the uh, Morphe X Madison Beer uh, brush collection so it came with this bag and you'll notice I got like most of like her collab items which that wasn't intentional <laughs> like for example I got this uh, lip gloss because I was just like let's just throw in a lip gloss shall we so I threw in this lip gloss and what what shade is this does it say oh this is the shade Mars I don't know, I really liked it because it was like a nude brown. I got these three liners because of course I had to get rid of my eyeliners. <laughs> so I got these three eyeliners. These are from NYX and I got white, black, and brown, basically my color palette and eyeliners. <laughs> and then these three are the only three brushes that are outside of this uh, collection. So I got a highlighter brush. These are all from Morphe. I got, I believe this is a contour. Yeah, a contour blush brush. And then this is a powder brush, yeah. So I got these three, I've had these three, so I, I've loved them. So I got those. And then these brushes are part of the Madison Beer Collection. So these are eye brushes and they're white. Or are they gray? Or are they an off-white? I think it's an off-white. Some blending brushes. And then like some like precision brushes. And then this like angled brush. So I'm keeping this in here until I'm able to use it. Um, and then, oh, 
the last thing that I got, like I said, I didn't mean to get everything from the Madison Beer Collection at Morphe, but I did. Um, this is the palette. So the reason why I got this was because I felt like it had the shades that I would mainly go for. So it has a lot of, it does have neutrals, but it also has some like darker colors, some shimmers. So you know, let me just remove this for now. So this is the palette. It's just like a perfect palette for me to like start out <laughs> again. I also really love Morphe products. I, I love all of their palettes. So that's why I got their stuff. And then this is outside of Ulta, but I want to show you guys because I am so excited. So Beekman 1802, they did a collab with Schitt's Creek. And for those of you who don't know what Schitt's Creek is, it's a TV show, well, a Canadian-based TV show that's on Netflix. You could go watch it. It only has six seasons, and it's absolutely the most hilarious comedy show ever made. I love it. I got my mom into it. We were watching it last night. <laughs> and um, not to give anything away, but the son in the series he has a shop called Rose Apothecary and what they did was they made Rose Apothecary products with Beekman 1802. So I got the body milk. It's just so cool because like watching the show and like now I have a product that like I mean, this probably wasn't like in the show, like duh, but it looks like a product that would be in the shop, which is just so cool that you could have it in your hands. I think they also have soap, they have a lip balm, um, they have like a whole set where you can get everything in a, in a bag, um, but I ended up, I got candles and the body milk, the, the candles aren't in the, um, the bag set, but I really wanted the candles because they just, they smell so nice. So my mom took one, but there was three. <laughs> They're all the same scent. Um, it's like a rose and it has some wood in it, like a, like a woodsy scent. So it's just, it smells so heavenly. And what's awesome is that like my mom loves rose. So of course she took one, um, but I love like a woodsy scent. So this isn't too florally. And the cool thing about this is that it's hand poured. So as you can see, you can kind of tell that it was hand poured into there, which I love. And if I'm not mistaken, this was hand poured in upstate New York. So I feel like I've like supported a New Yorker. <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave a link below for those products because if you're a Schitt's Creek fan, definitely get your hands on it. That's really everything I wanted to like catch you guys up on because I feel like I've just been so like MIA on social media. For the rest of the day, I have church, which right now it's like eight something. Like I actually woke up pretty early. Um, so I have church at 9.30 and then um, I have to do like a little bit of grocery shopping, drop off laundry. Um, I definitely need to clean my room. It is a freaking mess. Okay, Mia's at my door, so I'm gonna let her in and I'll catch you guys when I go grocery shopping. I went to Whole Foods, so. I got some more eucalyptus. I'm gonna put that in the, whatchamacallit, the living room. Oh, I got this from Walmart, but this is, um, movie theater butter salt it's a popcorn like flavor thing and then i got kettle corn we actually have a popcorn air popper right there <laughs> and then we have popcorn so we got that for that yogurt bananas uh, uh blueberry fruit and grain bars and then i got strawberry ones i had one in the car I got some diced tomatoes for a recipe. I got cookies. 
from like their bakery section. So I got vanilla shortbread cookies. These are chocolate chip shortbread. And then I got checkered cookies. I got carrot chips. One red onion, because we're gonna make Greek salad for lunch. Got cucumbers, grape tomatoes. Oh, I picked up um, this locally made pasta, and this is ravioli. So it, oh, let's see if I can check it. Oh, yeah, that looks so good. Ground beef, Mediterranean style vinaigrette. For a salad, lime fruit bars, sharp cheddar cheese, and then salad and from Target. I got those razors on my face. Um, baby shampoo for my eyes. Apparently, that's supposed to be more gentle. And cleansing them and then I also got uh, washcloths and lastly I went to Sephora and I got the one size translucent setting powder along with the puff I picked up JLo Beauty that blockbuster in a non-stop wonder cream plump hydrate and nourish 